Now in question 9 we're told that we have a curve C with the equation y equals kx cubed minus x squared plus x minus 5. And for part A we've got to find dy by dx. So differentiating each term in the normal way, the first term differentiated would be 3kx squared, the second term would be minus 2x, third term plus 1, and the constant differentiates to 0. So that gives us dy dx then for part A. Now in part B, we're told that we have a point A with x coordinate minus half, it lies on the curve C, and the tangent to C at A is parallel to the line with equation 2y minus 7x plus 1 equals 0. And we've got to find the value of k. Now, in order to really appreciate what's going on, I feel we need to just draw a quick sketch. So, we've got our axes, x and y, and we've got our curve C. Now, I don't really know what the curve C is going to look like, because we don't have the value of k. We don't know whether it's a positive value or a negative value. But what I do know, what they tell us, is that we're looking for a point on the curve which is parallel to the line with equation 2y minus 7x plus 1 equals 0. So what I'd like to do is first of all think about sketching this line. So if I had the line 2y minus 7x plus 1 equals 0, in order to sketch it what I could do is rearrange it into the form y equals mx plus c. So by doing that I could add 7x and subtract 1 from both sides so that would give me 2y equals 7x minus 1 and then by dividing by 2 I would have y equals 7 over 2x minus a half. So this enables me to sketch the line on this set of axes over here because it's a line that intersects the y-axis at negative half so I'm going to assume that this point here say is minus a half and it's got a gradient of 7 over 2 or 3 and a half so it's going to be a very steep positive gradient something like this so I'll just draw that in here. So we're looking at a line something like that, okay? The line of y equals 7 over 2 x minus a half. Now we have our curve, okay? As I say, it's this curve here. Not too sure what it looks like, but we're looking for a point on this curve where the x coordinate is minus a half. Now, minus a half, let's suppose, is there. Okay, that's the x-coordinate. So we've got a curve passing somewhere on this dotted line, okay, going through a particular point where the tangent at a point on here is parallel to this line. Now I know that this is not the curve necessarily, but I'm just going to just sketch part of a curve in like this. And what we've got is that they're asking us to find the uh, value of k at this point A, say, where the tangent at this point is parallel to this line. I must admit, in my sketch at the moment, it doesn't look that the tangent would be parallel. Tangent would look something like that. So I'll just rub that part out, okay, and we'll readjust the curve, something like that maybe, okay. So we've got a tangent passing through that point like that, okay, parallel to this line. Now because it's parallel, okay, we know that this line, the tangent, would have the same gradient as this line down here. It would be 7 over 2, the m part of the x. So I know that the gradient of the tangent at a now is 7 over 2. And dy dx works out the gradient at any point on the curve. So I know that when x is a half, if I was to substitute it into dy dx, I should get the gradient of 7 over 2. So that's the basis behind this question now. So I know that when x 
equals minus a half dy dx should equal the parallel gradient to this line 7 over 2. So all I need to do is substitute these two values into my um, equation up here in part A and we should be able to find then what k is. So I have 7 over 2 equals 3k times x squared so that's going to be minus a half all squared. Make sure you put the minus half in brackets okay. Then we have minus 2 times x so minus 2 times the minus a half again and then the plus 1 on the end. So all we need to do now is just clean this up. Okay, so we'll just move that up there. And so we have 7 over 2 equals, that's a quarter, times by 3 is 3 quarters, 3 quarters k. We have plus 1 here and plus another one on the end, so that's plus 2. There's many ways of solving this equation. When I get a fractional equation with numbers down here, I always like to multiply both sides by a number that both the 2 and the 4 go into, which would be 4. So if I times this by 4, I would get 14. If I multiply this term by 4, I get 3k. And multiplying this term by 4 gives 8. So subtract 8 from both sides, it would leave me with 3k then equals 14 take 8 which is 6, divide both sides by 3 leaves me with k equals 2. So that brings me then to the end of part b. In part c we're asked to find the value of the y coordinate of a. Well already we know that x is minus a half at a and we also know that k equals 2. So all I need to do is to go back to the original equation which was y equals kx cubed. I know that k is 2 so we got 2 times x cubed and x is minus a half cubit. It also was minus x squared so we have minus a half all squared and then plus x, so x is minus a half again, okay, and minus 5. So I've just substituted x equals minus half, k equals 2, into our original equation for the curve, y equals kx cubed minus x squared plus x minus 5. So if you work this out, you've now got y equals minus a half cubed, which is minus an eighth, times 2 is minus a quarter, minus half squared is a quarter so you're going to have minus a quarter there plus minus a half is minus a half and then minus five on the end so minus quarter minus a quarter is minus half minus another half is minus one minus another five that's minus six so the y coordinate then of a is minus six and that brings us then to the end of question 9.